Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my videos. So let's say that you have an asset and you would want to make it extremely low poly, whether if you're doing this for the optimization or just to be goofy, I can show you how to do it. Before we continue, I quickly just want to say that there's multiple ways that you can make stuff low poly, but this is the way that I know how to do it and it works for me. So let's get into it. And the first thing we need to do is grab the FBX of the asset that we want to make a low poly. So the way you do that is you want to extend its armature or you just want to extend it and find its body. On the right side, you're going to select the body and then in the center, you're going to find its body right here. Right click, show in Explorer. You're going to copy it from here and paste it on your desktop. After placing it on your desktop, let's import it in the Blender. So let's go file, import FBX, find the FBX that you want. So once you have it imported in Blender, let's select it. And on the right side here, you're going to see this little tool right here. It's blue. You're going to click it and then add a modifier at the top. And you're looking for a decimate tool. So it's right here. It's called decimate. You're going to select that. And now simply by moving the ratio slide, currently it's at one. But if you hold mouse one and drag it all the way to the left, you're going to see slowly that it starts to basically become low poly, low poly until it's basically one blob. Now, depending on the FBX and the quality of it, this, of course, is going to have different impacts on it. But as you can see, we can pull off that really low effect that we're looking for. And then once you have it at your desired place, you can just let go of the mouse one and go file, export FBX, desktop, name it whatever you want. And there you go. If you're specifically looking to do this for avatars, so if you're trying to make like a quest avatar or something, I'm not sure how it's going to impact its visemes and expressions. But if you're doing this for an asset, then I then it's pretty much good to go. Anyway, hope that this video helped you out. Let me know down in the comments if you have some questions. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you around. Peace.